WKDY has a, a morning radio show. What, what time do you think it'll be? Is it 8.15 8, 8, tomorrow? Yep. Um, tomorrow morning. Yep. Level check, level check. And good morning, it's Lupe Classic Hits, 92.7, 95.3. As temperatures begin to drop, home winterization might be top of mind. Heat loss with some windows are a major issue, but the process of cutting down on that heat loss might be easier than we think. Joining us in the Street Beat Studio, members of the St. Croix Rotary Club, Charlie McAlpin along with Ann Perry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are things? What's happening? Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, just to launch right in, Rotary is working with a nonprofit named Window Dressers. Uh, they're online at windowdressers.org uh, to deliver reusable, affordable, insulating window inserts for people who need an alternative to replacing their windows. How long do these window inserts, uh, how long can they be reused and what are the actual benefits? I believe we've been told that they can, you know, you can expect them to last about 10 years depending on, on if they have, uh, you know, abuse during the time. Cats are the most likely uh, <laughs> temptation because they're just really tempting to them. Um, but uh, we can also rewrap them if they do get torn. If you, okay. you just find a community build, if the if the plastic gets torn, you could just go in and, and enter, say, I need it rewrapped. And if there's one anywhere near you, you can drop it off and they'll get it rewrapped for you. Hmm. I, I will bring up something because uh, if you're looking at saving on heat, this is a little different than just putting plastic up to your window. Mm -hmm. It is a double wrapped, so you have a space in between that offers insulation. We measure your windows to the size that the insert needs to be so that you have a good tight fit with insurance that this will be a good insulation for that window. Yeah, they just sit, they sit in the window. It's a, the frame is made of wood strapping and it's wrapped uh, in a high quality cellophane. And then there's a foam around the edges of it. And then you just sit it on, you, they call it a landing on the inside of the window. You stick it in and it stays by itself. All right. So what inspired uh, you guys to team up with window dressers for this project? We heard about it, knew that there was a need in the area. Um, and it also is a project that kind of works for the club from the perspective of, you know, we've got able hands. Um, and we think that there's also a lot of people locally who would like to volunteer if they can go work on a project for three or four hours see work that they've accomplished and mm -hmm. then not have to own it and worry about it after it's done. One of the things, one of the ways that pro the product cost is kept low is that we ask people who are ordering them, if they order four windows, say we ask them to come in and work one four hour shift. Mm -hmm. um, that helps keep the cost low. And uh, we set up the assembly line. They won't necessarily be working on their window inserts, but, uh, and the work itself is enjoyable because it's it's relatively easy to learn. It's kind of interesting because these uh, the jigs that they send us to send up the workstations look like something MacGyver put together. <laughs> um, and uh, so it's kind of fun to learn and it's not so all engrossing um, and high pressure that you can't just enjoy chatting with people while you're doing it. Nice. So how do uh, people go about uh, placing orders and what's the process of all that? So what people will do is place the orders online at windowdressers.org. Um, there's a form that they fill out. You don't have to fill it out for a specific build. And in fact, there are four community builds taking place in Washington County this year. Um, they'll assign it to the nearest build to you. And um, then a, a local team will come out and measure your windows. We do have to measure each window. We have some people who say, well, you know, all my windows are the same size. Mm -hmm. But it's, these are older houses typically, and they seldom are exactly the same size. Um, yeah. So it's important to get, get specific measurements on each window. Then we turn those into window dressers. Um, they provide the software that, that we work with. Um, then once they have the order, they cut the wood. And then when the community build is taking place, ours will be the last week of October, October 25th through October 31st. Um, they ship us... The, the cut wood, all the supplies that are needed, and all the workstations with jigs uh, that to, to set up an assembly line, uh, which we're going to be setting up at the St. Croix Number 1 Firehouse. Uh, great location, uh, centrally located, plenty of room for us. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to working there, and we're grateful to the City of Gallus for letting us use it. And what, what was the uh, deadlines again for uh, getting these measurements in or getting... For, for our build, uh, for the Callus build, we really need to get the measurements done by October 7th. October so 7th. if people place their order as soon as possible, um, then we can, we'll can we still have time to come out over the course of the next, two, next 10 days or so uh, to get those measurements in in time. 
Uh, and how do we get in touch uh, so we can volunteer and be a part of this? There is a place to uh, to volunteer on the window dressers page. That's the best place to, to sign up. If you fi find our community build, uh, there's a page that has all the community builds in Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Um, find the callus build and um, uh, there's a place to sign up. If you have trouble with that, uh, we're online um, on Facebook uh, at the, if you go in and you search Callus Rotary, you'll find us. Mm, okay. Now, is there financial assistance available for those that cannot afford it? Yeah, these are, I mean, they're all affordable, but there's plenty of people who, you know, even when we, you, you know, if you, if you have 12 windows or so and you, you may be looking at $700, um, mm. not everybody's going to be able to handle that. Window dressers have been very generous with assistance. And so, uh, okay. you know, families that are, that are on assistance, uh, we can help with that. And if they can't, they might not be able to volunteer either. Because we're not gonna we're not gonna turn yeah. somebody away. Uh, it, it's it's helpful uh, to have the volunteers. And if you're not fully able-bodied, there are things you can do. Like you can help volunteer with the uh, uh, food preparation because we're going to be having okay uh, some meals there. We're going to ask local businesses to uh, donate food for meals for the between shifts. Oh my! Right. Uh, I will bring. We this is our second year of doing it, and. Um, now we know a little bit more about what we're doing, which is a good thing. Uh, but it is wonderful how the community came together. The restaurants that helped us last year were just wonderful. And um, it is a community effort. And I think you can see by Rotary and also those businesses that have helped us that it is a true community effort. Uh, what were some of the issues? Did you guys have some issues last year or some things that you guys improved in, on or anything like that? Um, well, of course, we were learning how to measure last year. <laughs> uh, so I've got to get, I've got one person I've got to get in touch with about remeasuring because hers didn't fit. Okay. Uh, or a couple, some of her windows didn't fit. But, one but sixteenth. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty tight. Um, and, it, and it really has to be for this to work, right? Um, but it's, you know, one of, the, one of the benefits, there are four community builds in Washington County and we are more or less partnering with each other. Um, and I should say too, the, the Eastport build, if you live in Eastport and these interest you at all, you really should go online and order because they have a, a grant uh, oh, wow. to assist with it. And uh, I, I believe if you're a full-time resident of Eastport, uh, you can go online and potentially get these free. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Is there anything else you guys want to add? Also add uh, the best place to go to get all the information we need before we... Uh, the, our... our Facebook page is, is the little at symbol, if you're searching that way, is at Callus Rotary. Um, okay. That's probably the easiest way to find us. Uh, you can also call <laughs> and leave a message at my home phone at 454-2293. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was myself. That was off frequently, too. <laughs> Anne, is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no, but as a worker there, there's a great deal of camaraderie and uh, fun with each other as we're doing the build. Uh, and we also, I think, are at the point where we can be good teachers yes. uh, in terms of that, so. where we were learning last time <laughs> yeah, with yeah. what we were doing. So this will, I, I would assume, go much easier. But also, it is an enjoyable time. It, it, really it did not feel as much like work as it really just said, getting together and really uh, enjoying the work together. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right, Charlie McAlpin and Perry, thank you for joining us. And this is Lupe. You're listening to Classic Hits, 92.7, 95.3. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Nice. Lupe asked if we could measure a window to, so you sure. can see what it looks like. 